back to my channel. My name is Maria, if you're new here, and if you've seen me before, then welcome back. Today I'm going out for dinner with family, it's Sunday, and I've gone for a blue look to match my blue nails. I've gone for quite dramatic eyes, considering it's only a Sunday and I'm only going out for dinner, but I've gone for nude lip. I'm trying out the new Primark My Perfect Colour foundation. We'll see how that lasts throughout the day. But if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then please keep watching. I've already moisturised using the um, using my Lacura cream, my eye cream and the um, hand cream on my neck. And today I am going to be trying a new foundation and it's the Primark My Perfect Colour Moisturising Foundation Stick in the colour Toffee. Now I'm hoping this isn't going to be too dark for day. If it is, I might have to mix it with some of the Revolution. So this was, I think, oh, £2.50. £2.50, oh my goodness. I hope it's good. One of the good things that they do, obviously all their foundations and powders and everything all have the same name. So you know that if you need the Toffee in the Mattifying Powder, you're gonna need the Toffee, or I hope, in the foundation. Right, okay, so we're just gonna prime. We are going for dinner at Miller and Carter. I'm running out of this. I'm just covering everything in concealer. Now the one thing I did notice is it didn't cover my pores up great on my um, cheek. So I might have to go back to using primer on my um, cheeks. So, right, here we go. Oh my God, literally I haven't even touched it. Let's hope it matches, because if it doesn't, then we're back to the drawing board and my roots are horrendous but oh it's very orange actually it's very it's very yellow not orange okay let's mix it in and see what happens I don't hate it mm, I don't know I don't know about that yet I might do a damp use it with a damp beauty blender I mean it's not too bad actually doesn't look too bad. I suppose with everything, you can't really tell until you've got everything on. Well, the colour looks a little tiny bit yellow, but I can warm that up with bronzer and everything. But, apart from my grey line around my forehead, which I will obviously get rid of with a bit of hairspray, or black hairspray. Okay, so let's carry on with the rest, and then we'll make a decision when we finish. So, concealer. I'm going to just a bit of base on my eyes just to give the blue eyeshadow something to stick to. I'm not going to set it, I'm just going to leave it tacky. Now I'm going to move to brows. So just some black mascara running through. It's so much easier having your eyebrows tattooed. Oh my goodness, it's just a dream. I'm going to start with Jaclyn Hill palette, a very clean Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm not going to use any of the blues in this one because the blues in this palette are a bit more purpley. So I'm going to use the blue from the Urban Decay Full Spectrum and the Revolution Redemption palette, Mermaid vs Unicorns, with some colours from this one. And with a big fluffy brush with this one. I don't know the names because I lost the card. So just all over the crease and that's just going to give a neutral base. Taking a smaller pencil brush I'm going to go into Minx and that's in the full spectrum palette. So Minx is a really deep blue, this one here. And I'm going to go on the outer corner of the eye and the inner corner. Taking a larger brush, we're going to go into Metamorphosis, which is that colour there. Blend these two together. I didn't like Metamorphosis, so I used Blindsided, which is that one there, and that came out a lot better. Metamorphosis did nothing whatsoever, so I've had to cover it over. And then we're going to take a clean, thicker brush. I'm going to go back into the Jaclyn Hill. And we're going to go into this colour here and blend that into the crease. Go back into Minx, 
and darken up the outer corner. I'm going to take the sort of a, an aqua colour. I'm going to take that on the inside, the inner corner. Blend this concealer in. This is just the Ben Nye banana powder underneath my eyes. I'm going to use damp Real Techniques sponge. I haven't been sleeping great these past few nights. I think it's because I've been taking my vitamin drinks at night instead of in the day, and I find that because it's like because it's vitamin C keeps me awake for hours and we're going to bake today using the RCMA translucent powder just because I don't know how this um, foundation is going to hold out. I'm just going to place a little bit of just in the centre. I'm going to spray the end of my brush with some vitamin E spray and I'm just going to place it just in the centre. Just gonna bounce this powder into my skin and with a smaller brush I'm gonna take this blue here and that a bit closer along my lashes get some bronzer on this face oh go to Mac deep dark and my favorite Primark bronzing brush and let's start giving ourselves some cheekbones I oh, can't wait to spray these roots Okay, I'm going to take a bit of the Primark Medium co Coverage Mattifying Powder and I'm just going to take that onto the bits where I might get a bit oily later. So, around my nose, a bit on my forehead, some blusher. I'm going to use the Blaze from the Primark at the Gold Rush palette with my Dior Blusher Brush. I'm going to put some highlighter on because you have to really, don't you? I'm going to take the A Glow, it's got a bit of a pinky colour to it. I'm going to take that on my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, tip of my nose. Now we need to get rid of this powder look. I am taking what is left, oh my god there's not much left, of my Pixie Skin Treats and I'm going to spray that and then I'm going to take my powder puff and just press all the powder and the spray in together. I'm going to top with a bit of carrot and I'm going to finish with my Morphe setting spray. Right, okay, next lips. I am going to, I'm going to use a Kylie Coco K lip liner and the Kimberly Nude Lipstick from the KKW collection. I love Kylie, I love her makeup, but this is very typical of all her lip liners. Literally every lip liner I have of hers, and I have about seven or eight, I've all done that. It's very frustrating, just saying. I'm gonna line my lips and then prime them. Okay, that's the finished look. So all I need to do now is go do my hair and get dressed and I will let you know how it all looks in the end.